Three draws in a row has seen Celtic's four-point gap at the top of the table extend to ten. We cannot allow it to get any bigger. We must draw a line under these bad results and get some wins back on the board. Welcome back, guys, to Sir Scotland. It's the episode nine, I believe, of FC 25, the Hearts career mode. We're doing good, albeit we did just draw three games in a row, but... When you compare it to how we usually go on in these career modes, we are doing pretty good. The only problem is, like I said, it's been a while since we picked up a win. And for that reason, we've fallen behind Celtic in this title race. Now, some people would say we are not in a title race. I beg to differ. I think we've got what it takes. We've got the best defensive record in this league. We've only conceded six goals in 13 games, which is the best ever for me. Okay, We're not conceding goals, which I absolutely love. However... The problem is, we're not scoring goals. We only scored 9 goals in 13 games. We're averaging less than a goal a game. Right now, Celtic are averaging 2 goals a game. So we can see when it comes to firepower, when it comes to scoring, they are levels above us right now. But we're still doing enough to stay ahead of the other team from Glasgow. Yes, we're above Rangers by 1 point. But, you know, 1 point is better than no points. I'd rather be a point ahead than a point behind. Unfortunately, we do trail St Mirren. But I'm hoping... By the end of this episode, we can find ourselves back in front of them. Our next game in the league is against Ross County, then St Johnston. Two very winnable games that we will have to win. Make no mistake about it. But before then, we have Florentina in the Europa Conference League. And how are we doing in that, you may ask? Well, we're doing pretty good. Got four points out of a possible six. We can find ourselves currently in 11th place, which is, which is decent. I would love to try and get into the top eight. I'd love to try and get into the automatic qualification places, but I know that's going to be difficult. We are, what is that? 13 places ahead of Florentina, so we're doing well. You can see St Mirren, they are in 19th. They've picked up a win already. And then Kilmarnock, kind of struggling at the moment, down in 28th place. So, so far, Scottish teams have been a mixed bag. We're doing good. St Mirren's doing okay. Kilmarnock are, you know, kind of struggling, but we'll see what happens during the next round of fixtures. We do have Florentina up next. Uh, Devlin is suspended, which is unfortunate, but we're going to have to wait and see uh, what happens with those players there. Kingsley wants to start. Craig Halkett wants to start. I mean, they all want to start. So it's difficult when it comes to picking the team, guys. It is difficult, but we will have to pick it. Like I said, we're Florentina up next. If we can win this, and it would be some win in Italy, don't get me wrong, but if we can beat them, then I'd say we've got one foot in the playoffs. I think seven points would probably be enough, and we'll move on to seven if we get the victory. But hey, even if we get a draw, fantastic result. Even if we lose, the four points after three games is still a good, you know, that's a good points tally for us, and I think it would put us on target to qualify for the next round. Here we go then, Europa Nights, Thursday Nights, Thursday Nights are good nights for the Diddy team, the small teams of Europe, to come together and get it on. It might be the third rate UEFA competition, but it's still a big competition, it's still a competition that we want to do well in. It's still a competition that we have to punch well above our weight in order to be successful. Yes, the quality of the Champions League and the quality of maybe even the Europa League might not be in this, but there's still a lot of good teams. You've got the likes of Florentina in there, Chelsea in there. You know, there is solid teams and uh, we're taking on probably the best team that, arguably the best team we've played so far this season. We've already played Celtic, we've already played Rangers, but I think that Florentina could be a step above, or at least on par with a Celtic. So we'll find out. We did beat Celtic, can we beat Florentina? I'm hoping so. We're ready. We're going to give it our absolute all. And if we can win this, like I said, pretty much guaranteed one foot in the playoff rounds of this uh, Europa Conference League, which is what it's all about. If we can do that with three games left, then I'll be absolutely buzzing. But time to shake hands now. Time to look at the teams. They are well, I didn't even read. They've got David De Gea. Wow, so they've got David De Gea in there. Um, that's massive. Absolutely good. Munson up front. You've got Beltran in there as well. That's a massive. I didn't even know they had the hair. That's insane. Colpani in there as well. So, I mean, this is a, what a Florentina side this is. Honestly, man, if we can somehow 
beat them with, with David De Gea in Nets. What an achievement that would be. That would be insane. Whether we can do it or not, I mean, that remains to be seen. But uh, we're going to look at the Hearts 11 that will take to the pitch here. The 11 that will hopefully bring us success. Sander Clark going up against David De Gea. Interesting. It's Penn Rice, Kent Halkett Taylor. We've got Newenhoff coming in for the suspended Devlin. Then it's Mackay, Oda, and Spittle through the middle. And then we've got again Lauren Shankland up front. Kind of has to be Lauren Shankland up front. But that is our team. That is our 11. Florentina are up for this. We are up for this. Craig Halkett, he looks ready. Shankland looks ready. Respect. Will we show them respect tonight? Hopefully not. Hopefully not. I'm hoping that we absolutely tank them. But let's go. You want the full game? You're going to get the full game. It's Hearts versus Florentina. Europa Conference League. Massive here. They need a win. If they lose this, they are in trouble. Make no mistake about it. They are dangerously down the bottom. And another defeat would cement them further down there. So they need to do something in this game. Spittle then. Looks for Benenjami. Benenjami. Out towards Mackay. Barry Mackay here. Takes a wee burst of pace. Looks for the cross. In towards Shankland. It's away only as far as Callum Newenhoff who... Oh man, we we're going to hit the folly there but... Just got away with us. The touch was too heavy. And now Florentina coming forward with Sabri. And already here they could be putting us in a bit of trouble. It's good Munson through. Good Munson through, big save, face under Clark. And good Munson there, he was right through a goal with an opportunity early on and the defender wasn't great, Pierce kind of left him in a bit of space and he can't be doing that. We did get away with it, but, you know, barely. And what's we'll say, well, you can't be doing that and somehow Sander Clark's made a big save and, and Callum Newenhoff is going to try and get rid of that, but uh, Gerald Taylor, they're almost screwing us out of a goal and what well, we got, Oda, Oda spins around, gets himself out of trouble now, Hearts. What have we got here? Halkett making a run. We're looking for Shankland though. We're looking for Shankland who can't get to that. He's attempting to, but Florentina managed to deal with it. But I'll tell you what, we're doing okay here. We've applied the pressure on. We've kept that in. Craig Halkett keeps it in. Oda to Nivenhoff. Benenjami. Nivenhoff makes the run. Benenjami has to go back to Penrice. Penrice now out to Mackay. Mackay to Benenjami. Benenjami over the top to Spittle. Spittle chested down. Spittle trying to find Shankland, can't do it. Now it's Newenhoff. Benenjami, back out to Spittle. Spittle takes a shot, then it's a save. Testing David De Gea early there. So, I mean, decent start for us, good response after Florentina having a really good opening. Couple of chances, ball in, it's headed away. Newenhoff should be first to this. It's out towards Benenjami, and he has. I mean, he's not done very well there, has he? Poor control, man. Poor touch. And Florentina again now. Getting forward. Oh, brilliant challenge for Kent. No, that's phenomenal there for Kent. And he goes back to Sander Clark. Sander Clark playing it. Well, he plays it right into the middle there. It's dangerous. Oh, it's a big save, though. Sander Clark. He redeems himself. Just when you thought he'd messed up things up and potentially going to go away a goal. He's like, not today. Makes a big, big save. Ball in to the middle. It's headed towards goal. Oh, and it's just wide. Clark and Kent now. Maybe colliding. Clark, though, no, he's he's eager to get his back underway. But I thought that could have been a goal there for Florentina, man. It was incredibly close. Thankfully, thankfully though, for us, no goal. But again, man, it's... Oh, man, they're beginning to pressurise us here. You can see the quality for sure that they have. And they're beginning to show it, man. I think they might be the best team that we've played. So, oh, and look at this. So, just the pressing game here. It's insane. Ball now out towards Good Munson. We need to try and get that. And it's going to be a corner there as we, we just clear it out for a corner. I don't know why we're giving them another corner. But it seems to be pretty dangerous with these corners. So, it wasn't a good idea. But let's see what Copani can do. He's taking it short. He's taking it short. We're trying to put pressure on. And we've just wiped him clean out there. And we need to close him down. It's a shot again. It's Sander Clark forces it out for another save. How many saves has Sander Clark been forced into here as Blair Spittle picks up a yellow card? But I feel like Sander's having to pull off a lot of saves in this match. And we're only, what, about half an hour in. So, um, so far, so good. But, oh, and this time it's Kent. I don't know who was there. I don't know who got to that. But we need to defend again. We need to defend again. It's another hole. Oh, and we need to get rid of that. We do, right? It's a counter. Attack on here, maybe Mackay. Up towards Shankland. And Shankland's just not got that, has he? No, he's not got the pace. David De Gea. 
we'll collect it. The hair then rolls it over to Pongrajic, who has launched that up and oh, we want it back. Hold it. Now and off towards Shankland. Shankland holds on to this. Shankland trying to get a bit of space, takes a shot. Yeah, we've won it back. Yes, we have. Mackay. Kent. Kent then launching another one up towards Shankland. Brings it down on the chest. Cannot beat the defender, though. And Shankland almost getting away through there, but not quite. Gerald Taylor to halk it. Oh, no, and Kent's down. That's not what we want to see. He's been great so far in this game. And it's now Spittle. Spittle's run on to that player. Spittle from distance takes a shot. David De Gea had that covered. I mean, we were getting caught there. Felt the pressure. Felt like, you know what? Never, never. We can take a shot or else we can do absolutely nothing here. I mean, we decided to take a shot, but the shot didn't really do anything. So, who knows? Maybe we'd have been better off. Attempting to get closer to goal, maybe. I don't know. Florentino now. Oh, they put it through. But Sander Clark will come out and he'll take that one. They bother. And he will now roll it out to Penrice. Benjamin, Spittle, Spittle turns around, Spittle then, out towards Mackay, Mackay to Penrice, still Penrice, it's Penrice, Penrice, goes for cross, it's blocked, it's blocked, then it will be a heart's corner, this is it, this is a chance, can we maybe take the lead for half time, it would be insane, it's by Mackay, Ball in, flicked away, Benjamin needs to get to this, he doesn't, but we can keep it going, or maybe not, we've made a mess of that there, and now Florentina, that's not going to stay in, surely it is actually, wow, we've kept it in both, and that's it, it's going to be half time, nil nil, here we go, it is Florentina, seven shots to three, we've had more possession, but they've obviously had a lot more chances, so, uh, second half. I think we're going to take Spittle off because he's on a yellow. So I'm going to take Spittle off. I think we're going to bring on Dan. I think we'll bring on Dan. Fargas. I think we'll bring on Fargas. I'm going to play Shanklin in the cam. We'll, we'll put Sh uh, Fargas up front. Uh, Taylor, who I, I wasn't that impressed with, I think we'll take him off. And We've seen Kingsley play it right back before, so I'm going to bring on Kingsley and he can he can go it in the right-hand side. There. That's the two changes that we will make. And uh, let's see how we can go then in the second half. It does remain 0-0. So uh, let's see if we can keep it 0-0 for even longer than 45 minutes. But anyway, try to slide in. Doesn't get to it. We're having to track back here. It's in towards. It's a bad. Oh, this should be a goal. It's terrible defending for us. I was accepting my fate there. I honestly thought that was a goal. Ricardo Sotel is going off. And it looks like it'll be Robin Gosens coming on here as Florentina Continue to push, continue to look for a goal. Nevenhoff. Benenjami. Shankland. Ball up to the top, looking for Fargas. And uh, De Gea collects that knee baller. We've got it back, Oda. Uh, it's Florentina again then, getting forward. Kingsley, oh, my. Uh, it's a. Bad tackle yet, yeah, Kingsley will be pulled back for that yellow card. I almost, for a second, I thought we were getting away with it, but ah, I don't think you're ever going to get away with that man. Just damn near took him out, so. Yeah, referee does blow, in fact, for the free kick. It's Colapani, whips one in. Headed down, Benenjami slides in, doesn't get to it. Uh, there's another shot blocked, and we've kept this right. Oh, and Sander Clark, just bad touch, but I tell you what, that was hit way too hard at him, I believe. Frankie Kent looks like he's picked up. Yeah, do we take Kent off or do we keep him on? You think he's doing okay for now? Ball in, it's away. Do not lose it here, Mackay to Halkett. Halkett out to Penrice. Penrice trying to play Fargas through and Fargas could be on to this. Oh, the keeper's made a mess of it there, but we weren't that hard. It just wouldn't fall for me. I was hoping that Fargas could maybe go on to that, but nah, didn't happen. Florentina again now. Oh, I tell you what, that could be a red. It's a nasty challenge for Penrice. We will see the colour of the card. It's going to be yellow only. Wow, okay, I'm, I'm happy with that. I mean, honestly, I thought I thought that could have been a red. Substitutions, can we make any? Are we going to make any? No, it doesn't look like only Florentina. We've got 33 minutes to go. Trying to still hold on for a draw here. Ball in, it's 
It's off the post, and how close can Florentina get without scoring? That's the big question right now. We're trying to hold on. It's Benjamin to Sander Clark, who will just try and launch it up. And Fargas, can he get to that? He can't. He's down, but nothing happening. Oh, what a challenge that is for Craigie Halkett there. Brilliant. Now we're trying to get that forward. Oda. Oda. And it's going to be back into the hands of Sander Clark. But just about there. Almost picked off by the Florentina defender right. Shankland launches this one. And it's awful. That is way out. Right. We're going to make a couple of subs here. Let's. Who are we going to bring on? Oh, they're taking it quickly. Wasn't expecting that. Uh, oh no, we need to. It's, oh no, no, it's through. We can't do anything. So, like, oh, Sander Clark with a massive save. Sander Clark, what a save. I don't know how Florentina have not taken the lead, but thankfully they haven't. Now it's Shankland in towards Nevenhoff. Nevenhoff. It's Fargas. Takes a shot for distance. It's blocked. Benjamin. Put towards Shankland. Shankland! Oh, his shot is blocked as well. 22 minutes to go. Hearts beginning to create a little bit now. But I uh, still can't find a goal. We're going to... Let's make some changes here. Let's uh, bring on... Let's bring on... We'll bring on... Uh, yeah, we'll take off Kent. Screw it. Yeah, we're going to do that. Right, here we go. Chance. Ball in. Need something to happen here. It's Nimmenhoff. Flicks it to Craigie Halkett, who follies it towards goal. And it's straight into the hands of David De Gea. No worries for the keeper there. Still nil nil. Two uh, good goalkeepers on display, no doubt about it. Stanley Clark will have a lot more to do in order to keep his clean sheet. And that one has just been launched over. And it will be headed down by Kingsley. Oda. Oda, back to Oda. Come on. Run on to that. Oda just can't get to it. Not enough pace in the end. And he gets uh, shrugged off by the Florentina players. Beltran. Beltran to Aldi. He's gave it away. Right, we can't. Penrice. Barry McKay, right, come on, we've got the run there. The run just going for Fargas. He's now played in McKay. And can Barry McKay pick out somebody here in a... I was going to say a maroon shot. We're not playing in maroon, but... Couldn't pick out a Hearts player either way. And again, another attack ending. And once every time Florentina get, come forward, you just feel like they're going to create a really good opportunity. 12 minutes to go. What have they got? What can they offer? What can they do? We're going to find out. We've got a couple more attacks in them, I'm sure. Benenj, oh no, and that's... Need to get that. Benenj, mate, does well. Right, here we go. Halkett. Nivenhoff. It's Fargas. And Fargas runs into trouble. Trying to beat the last man. Oh, and it could be Shankland who picks that there. Oh, Shankland. It's Fargas. Oh, he couldn't stay on set. Is he off? Is he on? I don't know. I think he's off. I mean, should Shankland have went himself? Probably. Oh, man. What a chance that was. Right, Mackay's going off for bringing on Yandanda. Seven minutes to go. What an opportunity that would have been, though. Seriously. Right, Penrice. To Danda, Danda. Still, oh, Yandanda's going the wrong way, but... I mean, he wins the throw-in. It's Fargas back at to Danda. What can Yandanda do here? Yandanda looking for a cross. There's no, no one there really. And we've been hustled off the ball there and we've lost it and this is dangerous. Florentina. Benenjim. Oh, that's offside by a man. No way, they've left it. They've left it for him. I didn't see that coming. Craig Halkett. was a grass cutter. What the fuck is that? Florentina, they're rushing it. Right. Penrice, Danda, Fargas, trying to oh, play him through right, it's Penrice, what have Hearts got left in store here, Penrice, can he get something going, he's going to look for a cross in, it's Shanklin is there but he can't get to it, Benjamin, and Fargas is that's behind him, Fargas slides in to try and win it back, I think he got it but not enough time to go and the ball doesn't fall for him and that will finish, no no guys in Italy, I'll take it. It's a draw. Well, that's our fourth draw in a row, but that one seems a hell of a lot better than the three games that we drew in the league. Ten shots for Fontina, uh, six shots for us. I'm happy enough with that. Sander Clark, an 8.4. Worthy man in the match, in my opinion. Definitely deserved that.
You see some of the other results in there, which quickly just disappeared. So we're going to have to go and check them out because there's no way you can possibly uh, read them that quickly. But let's see then what happened next in the Europa League. We've got, we've got St Mirren. What's happening here? Why are we, why are we playing St Mirren? So uh, we've dropped down a place. We were 11th. Now we are in 12th. But what about the other oh, St Mirren? They could beat 4-0 at Betis. That's a shocking result there. Wow, okay. Come on, it drew. Come on, it drew, but St Mirren got beat 4-0 off Real Betis. So, if we look now, St Mirren, where are they? St Mirren have dropped down now. St Mirren are in 28th position. So, they are out of the the playoffs. And then you look at Kilmarnock. They're in 30. They're also out of the playoffs. So, Sean Grover's currently have two points. Uh, there's like, three games to go. You need to get into the top 24. I mean, right now, the 24th team, Circle Bruges, is on three points. We already have, what, five points? I don't think five's enough. I think we will need another result somewhere. I think we can get one more win. One win out of our last three. That should be enough. My maths is normally good. I think that will be enough. Obviously, it depends on results and shit like that. But I think we're close, guys. I really do think we're close. And a win against St. Mirren would pretty much uh, secure our position. In the next round, but forget about that. We are, oh my god, Frankie Kent is injured and unavailable. That's not what I want to see. But look, we need to get back to winning ways. We're taking on Ross County up next in the league. We must beat them. It was three draws in a row. That has to change. They're bottom of the table. They're dead last. Look, this has to be a game where we can win comfortably, get quite a few goals, and try and top up the goal difference. That's going to be my aim when we go to Dingwall. Let's see if we can accomplish it. And this is the team then that will take on Ross County. It's going to be Sander Clark in net, Salazar, Kingsley, Rose, and Taylor, Forrest, Benjamin, Devlin, Oda. And we're going to play Boyce in the cam roll up alongside Shanklin. Two strikers on the pitch because I think we should be able to strike Ross County and hurt them. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Boyce and Shanklin together. Will they be the dream team? Let's find out. Boyce with interception. Looks for Forrest. Forrest already trying to play through Shanklin. Shanklin. Does well to turn, Shanklin takes a shot, and it's, I mean, it's not a million miles away. It's off target, but it's, it's close enough to Shanklin, and, I mean, already, we are looking like we're going to be dangerous in this game, and Ross County know it. Forrest, Alan Forrest, can he find the cross in towards Shanklin? Oh, and Shanklin, bullet header towards goal, but he's overfired that one, unfortunately, over the crossbar. Boys, few step overs, Salazar... Playing it through, it's Shanklin again. Back to Salazar, Boyce wants it, but I need him to make a run. Boyce ain't running though, he's just standing there. Shanklin turns around again. Lauren Shanklin does pretty well there, looks for the cross, and it's way back to Devlin. Boyce then, oh, he plucks out of mid-air, goes for a shot. Tackle comes in for Telfer, denies Boyce a shot to go, and that's getting away for people. Oh, and Boyce has just killed him. Boyce slides in, horrible tackle, and I'm sure he will be getting... A yellow card for that, no doubt about it, but we win it back. What have we got? Boyce again. We still, oh, Boyce still go. Oh, Liam Boyce is looking good. Boyce in and towards Shanklin, still Shanklin. Salazar. Boyce. Back to Forrest. Back over towards Boyce and just too much on that. Out for a goal kick. It's Boyce. Boyce. Shanklin turns around, takes a shot, blocked, and it's hit half Salazar, and it will lead to nothing. But I mean, we are putting County under lots of pressure. Oh, it's back through to Boyce. Liam Boyce goes for the finesse, takes a block, should be a corner, will be a corner. 20 minutes gone, what can we do with this delivery? Alan Forrest looking for a good one in. It's not great though, it's away. Keeper thought had that, he didn't get it though. Hearts trying to put the pressure on, trying to keep forward. Ross County though playing it for the back. Brown. Benenge may chasing him down. But Brown is getting away from him. Brown's continuing to run and he gets it forward. And Ross County just cannot really string more than a couple of passes together before losing the ball. They are really poor and it's Devlin. Devlin. Oh, Devlin where we step over. What's the carry Devlin doing? Still Devlin here. Runs into space and just runs out of time. Gives the ball away. Back in. Rolls heads it down. Taylor. Back to Sander Clark. Back to Gerald Taylor. Taylor brings it down, plays it towards Rolls. Rolls. Hearts here looking pretty good. Boyce again, Hearts. Passing it around well. It is Shankland. 
Over towards Boys. Brings it down. Oh, fall. He's a big save from Nathan Gale or big save from Laidlaw even. Yes, Laidlaw. How can you get the defender and goalie mixed up? I don't know. I was excited. I thought Boys was going to get his what, second goal of the season, I believe. But he hasn't done that. And Ross County is still holding on. Devlin to Boyce. Devlin continuing that run. Boyce turns around, looks for Shankland. Follies it down. Shankland hits the side netting. Again, we're applying the pressure. We're doing we're doing well. We're playing well. We're creating chances. We're creating opportunities. Just can't get a goal yet. But it will come. Let's just stay patient, guys. We uh, Patient. Sorry. It will come. It's, it's Boyle. Or Boyce, even. Boyce takes a shot. I don't know why they're so deep here. They're hanging on for dear life, Ross County. And Boyce again this time just lost the ball and can we now finally see County off or something? No, they can't. Great challenge there. Uh maybe not so great of a challenge. Wait, maybe it was actually Benjamin won again. Ball played up. Shanklin trying to win that. He goes down. And so Ross County survive at the break, so. No no. Uh, that has to change for us. We can't I mean look at that, seven shots to nil. We've dominated, but it's not good enough. We need to we need to find a goal face somewhere. Uh, are we going to make a change? Are we going to make a change? I think we might, to be fair. Mm, Boyce, is, uh, Boyce has played well, but he is on a yellow card. I think I'm going to bring on Fargas. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Actually, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put Fargas out in the right. And I'm going to put Wilson. We're going to play James Wilson up top. And we'll bring on Grant for uh, Benjamin. Risky, but... I think it's worth it. I think that could make the difference here in this second half. Let's find out. As we get the ball underway. As we get the game underway. Let's go. Got Fargas and Wilson now trying to combine early on. Couldn't play the pass through there. Fargas made the run. Wilson didn't find him. Shank Lindo now. Back to Fargas. Fargas. Wilson. He's out wide. We need him in the middle. James Wilson. Out towards Salazar. Salazar finds Forrest. Forrest beats his man. Forrest now looks for the cross in. It's awful. Absolutely awful. <coughs> Benjamin slides in. He wins it back. Wilson. Oh, I can't play it to Wilson. It's very poor there. We've got it back. Ross County still survive. And now we've got... Oh, no. Ross County coming through the middle. What a shot. That off the crossbar, man. Holy crap. What a strike that is. For, I believe it was white. Holy shit, man. Almost turned my pants brown, man, with that shot. Incredible. Right. Let's see if we can get the ball forward here. It's Wilson. Fargas continuing to make the run. Fargas played over the top against Harmon. Harmon will just clear that, but Shanklin's going to try and get to it. He does. He heads it down towards Grant. You've got George Grant. Takes a shot, and it's saved by Laidlaw. I uh, haven't really offered much in this second half. Maybe it's a lack of quality up, have up front. Maybe bringing on Wilson wasn't a great idea, but we'll see what we can do. Oh, man. Saying that, you can't blame Wilson for that pass out for the back. That was shocking for us, right? We win it back. And the referee says, no, we didn't. The referee is going to give a free kick there. Oh, it's no, it's been played through. It's chipped and it's going to go wide. Thank God for that, man. Thank God. How unfortunate would that have been, man? Our luck would have been rock bottom there had that one in and we'd have been in major trouble, but we get away with it. It's Wilson. To Shankland, who's going to turn around, maybe look for the run here of George Grant. Still Shankland. Shankland gets a bit of space, takes a shot, saved. Wilson will try and get to that, but he cannot. And Ross County again survive here. And we track back with George Grant. Ball now out towards Forrest. Forrest again. It's coming forward. Forrest holds on to it. Here we go. Back in towards Shankland. Lauren Shanklin takes another shot, another save for Laidlaw, and Laidlaw at the moment, keeping County in this. Hey, what can we do What in terms of subs? Let's bring on Callum Nevenhoff here. Uh, Kai Rose has gone off. What can we do? Forrest, delivery here needs to be good. It's flicked in. It's going to be picked up by Wilson here. He's, don't know what he's doing. It's a chance. Oh, and it's just a way for us, man, over hit. Just need a nice wee pass there. There's lots of Hearts players in the middle waiting for it. Just couldn't pick anybody out. Not good enough. Now Ross County. They're going to try and be good enough here. Oh, that's a dive. Come on, ref. Can't believe he gave that. He has gave it, like, but for me, it shouldn't have happened. Uh, bring on Boateng now. 
Just try to get some fresh legs on. 14 minutes to go. Ball into the middle. Boateng has to head it. Oh my god. Oh my god. We bring on Boateng. The last time he played, I said he would never play for us again. You know, I have a change of heart. We bring him on. And his first contribution is to defend that free kick. And he's not done it. He's lost his man. We can see that a goal. We're losing in Dingwall. Unbelievable. We can see it again. Ball comes in. Boateng jumps, tries to get it, and he's just, he's beaten there and there by White, and White has fired that home. It's a great header, to be fair, so the Clark can't save it. And we are now in major trouble. Major, major trouble. 14 minutes ago, we need two goals for anywhere. And White celebrating that Jordan White. That's what his team needed at the bottom of the table. That could be a big, big win. All right, here we go then. 14 minutes to go. Can we somehow find two goals out of nowhere? I mean, I hope so. It's going to be tough. Let's see what we've got. Forrest picks out Lauren Shanklin. Shanklin then in a bit of space. It's Lauren Shanklin. Drills one low. Puts it wide. And that'll be a goal kick to County. Disappointing there. Shanklin was in a bit of space, to be fair. And I thought we could have definitely uh, tested the keeper there. But not to be. And Boateng just can't win nothing, can he? The guy really is next level dog shape. But here we go. Ball forward again. It's Wilson. Wilson out wide. It's Forrest. Alan Forrest, Forrest tries to toe poke it there at the keeper, but Laidlaw once again makes another save, and look at, I mean seriously, why can't Boateng make a tackle? Yeah, he must be the worst player man I think I've seen so far in this career mode, by far. He must be. Right, Boateng, you need to get to that, you need to get to that and you need to get this ball forward. And we need to get on the move here, and we need to go, and it needs to happen now. And this is it could be a chance here. It's Wilson. Awful, awful for Wilson. That is that's awful, man. I cannot believe what that's. Oh, I, I don't have the words. I know I said awful about ten times, but it really truly was that bad. And now County, County. Oh, and look at Boating. He just let him get past them there. Sander Clark pulls off a big save, but at this point, I don't think it's going to matter. Ross County then, here we go, it's Sander Clark, ball's thrown up, Fargas needs to get to this and run, Fargas needs to get to this and run, and Fargas has just run straight into trouble, and that will do it guys, that will finish the game, and it's been a while since we tasted defeat, but we've tasted it here against the bottom table, top bottom team in the table, just that second half, we didn't really show up, we really didn't. Based on the second half, you know, I don't think we deserved to win it. Ross County probably did enough to get a draw, but uh, they didn't deserve to win it, but they have won it. And unfortunately, that means our gap to Celtic will probably grow. Because I'm going to imagine they won. And we will probably be further behind them, so. Uh, yep, St Mirren won. Which is not what I wanted to see. Celtic won, they defeated Mullerwell. So the, the three teams that we're kind of battling with right now, they all won. Celtic won, St Mirren won, Rangers won. That's um, the last thing we needed to see. But we've seen it. And yeah, absolutely shite. Not good enough. We need to respond. We need to do better. And this, this game against St Johnson, this is massive. This is absolutely massive. We must, absolutely must win this to get our season back on track, guys. No ifs or buts. we got to beat St Johnson here. In 11 days time. Alright, here's our team then. It's going to be Clark, Penrice, Kent, Halkett, Taylor, Benjamin Devlin, Oda Mackay, Spittle, Shankland up front, Boateng, nowhere near the side and I don't think he ever will be again. So Johnson here, chance early on, Halkett just went into the book, Smith standing over it, and Smith, wow, big save for Gore, so the Clark even, then he gets taken out there but he holds on to the ball, he does a wee roll around and thankfully he's alright. But that was close, very, very close there. We cannot lose this game, surely not. Penrice, come on. Penrice to Mackay. Now it's out to Spittle. Spittle trying to play it out towards Penrice. Penrice going to pick out Shankland. Not with that cross, he ain't. And St Johnston will survive. Ball up, Halkett wins ahead or something. Boateng could never do in a million years. Spittle, a few step overs. Player Spittle takes a shot, blocked. Got to chase that down. Raymond's not having any of it. He clears it. Benjamin puts some pressure on there. We've managed to get to that first. Spittle again. Trying to go at it, but St. Johnson 
managed to see off a potential attack. St. Johnson again getting forward. Looking dangerous in that one. It's just wide and thankfully for us it was because I don't think Sander Clark was getting to it. He looked rooted to the spot. St. Johnson have started this match pretty well. Unfortunately for us, I was hoping they'd be shite, but uh, so far so good for them. Well, let's see what we can do now. It's Spittle. A few step overs, runs into trouble, manages to hold on to the ball though. Tries to find Shanklin, cannot. Benenjami now, picks out Blair Spittle again, takes a shot, closed down, no space for Hearts. We are struggling here to break down this St. Johnston side. It's through again. Score. Sander Clark makes another massive one handed save, denying St. Johnston. A goal there, and now they've got a corner. Mackay stops that corner from coming in. I didn't expect us to be under pressure so much in this game, but we are. And St. Johnston have started this great. They don't look like a team struggling in the bottom half, that's for sure. I mean, if we keep getting these kind of results, we might be in the bottom half struggling. And we've lost it again there, but we win it back. Right, let's go. Ball it to Mackay. It is now to Spittle. Try to play through it. Shankland. Shankland gets brought down. That has to be a free kick. Surely, man. Nothing given. And Naismith. You can see Naismith on the, the sidelines there. He's furious. Don't blame him. I could have swore that was a, a free kick. I don't think the ball was won at all. And I tell you what, we didn't win the ball there either. So that's probably going to be a yellow card. Yep, Kent receives a yellow. No complaints. Another free kick though for St. Johnston. Ball dinked into the middle. Headed away. It's going to be Devlin to Shankland. Shankland then to Oda. We've got Taylor running through the middle and it, it's not going to be found with that ball. Decent attempt but not quite got the quality. Ball now up to Shankland. Back to Taylor. Taylor. Can he pick out Shankland again? It's Shanks to Taylor. Gerald Taylor looking towards Lauren Shankland. Draws it. Locked by St. Johnston here. But uh, that was better for us. Let's go. Come on. More of the same. Benenjami. Lays it off. It's Devlin. Benenjami again. Benenjami goes for another shot. Blocked. Can we get to that with Forrest? No, we can't. But Spittle's there. Spittle deals with it. Spittle it to Oda. Oda with some, some uh, step overs. Plays it to Taylor. Taylor cuts back. Taylor to Shankland. Shankland still with the ball. Shankland to Taylor. Taylor, his shot is blocked again. And St. Johnston now beginning to sit deeper, beginning to sit in, and they're, they're hard to break down. And I don't like this first half, but again, they offer something coming forward, no doubt about that. Again, oh, and they're offering something here, and Sander Clark pulls off another massive save. St. Johnston just will not go away. They refuse to come here and not, you know, be, be competitive. With my, I don't know what that was. Just getting rid of that there. Panicking, I think. Right. 44 minutes gone. Going to be Smith. Another corner. It's in towards the Hearts area. It's volleyed. It's headed away for Halkett. St. Johnston trying to get something going here. We're <laughs> forcing them back. Can we get into half time here? Look at the gap. Off the post. Holy shit, man. We're getting dominated at the moment. Well, up to Shankland, guys. It will be half time. Wow. I don't want to relive that first half. That was that was tough. So eight shots for St. Johnston here. What the hell is going on? Right. We need to change things up in this second half. Benenjami. Out to Mackay. Mackay. Back to Benenjami. Benenjami over the top. Doesn't quite find them. Shankland's going to contest that. And St. Johnston. Oh. It's falling here. Shankland. Muscled off. The, it's not like Lauren Shankland there to get out muscled. Just when we need him to show some strength, he couldn't do it. Didn't have any. Didn't eat his fucking Weetabix, I don't think. Didn't eat his porridge in the morning. That's it, I demand Shanklin from now on. He needs to eat breakfast. I'll come round, I'll fire him on some boiled egg and toast. He needs to get his strength going. Can't be doing that, it's Ikepezu. Oh no, and it's a chance, it's Sander Clark. And oh, and it's wide. Man, we are hanging on here. Literally by a thread that is about to snap. And honestly, it, what pains me to say it, but St. Johnson looked like the team more likely to get a, a goal here. Oh, man, again, we've lost that and we've won it back. Mackay, what's he doing with that? What the hell was he doing with that? Sprangler. Kent has to try and get that. He does get it right. Opportunity. Oh, and Kent's... Oh, man, Devlin was taken out. We were away. We were away there and we got taken out. That is bullshit. Halkett then. 
Fidestins is going to draw one, saved by the keeper, and that will be a heart's corner, right, that's better. Decent shot there for Shank, we're taking it short though, just to give it away, but we win it back, Devlin. Lays it off, it's Barry McKay, back post, Spittle, brings it down, oh, Spittle, what was he doing? Spittle, you couldn't ask for a better chance than that, man. You couldn't ask for a better chance, and we've messed it up. Messed it up, man, Devlin. Out towards Oda again. Oda cuts inside, takes a shot. It's going to be Spittle again. For oh, yes, player Spittle. A bit fortunate, but it fell for us. It fell for us, and he put it in the back of the net. It's a good shot. It's a good finish. There's no doubt about that. But uh, we got a bit lucky with the the initial block. It, it fell straight into the path of Blair Spittle, and you know he he took that chance. So I am happy with that. No doubt about it. We needed something. I think we needed a little bit of luck, and I think we've got it there. Spittle just falling at home, putting it in past the goalkeeper. He dove, he almost got on it, but not quite. And uh, Blair Spittle with a big, big goal for Hearts in the 63rd minute. And it's only his first goal of the season, but it's an important goal. Could be a goal that gets us off three points today. Spittle again. Oh, Spittle's done well there. He spins around, Blair Spittle. Oh, Spittle. Almost. Getting another goal. I think I took a deflection, though, so he's unlucky there. Mackay. Ball in. It's not great. It's going to fall for Penrice. Penrice. To Benenjami. Shankland. Oh, it's saved by the keeper. And that goal seems to have given us a bit of life now. We're really applying the pressure here to St. Johnson. And they need to get the ball forward. They're trying to get back in this game. 20 minutes to go, but that, that goal has given us a bit of life, and we do look a bit more dangerous now. And if anybody's going to get another goal now, it looks like it could be us, to be fair. Oh, but it's through to Sibidi. He's away. Halkett. Oh, big save by Sander Clark, and we've conceded the corner. I don't know if that was necessary, but we've conceded the... Right, we're going to bring on Jan Danda. We're taking off the goal scorer. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but we'll find out, I guess, in the next 16 minutes. Ball in. Head up towards goal. Sander Clark will make that save. Then he will throw it up towards Danda, but it doesn't get to Danda. We've slid in. A game of lost the ball. It's through, and it's another opportunity, and it's into the hands. Is Sander Clark rather easily. Right, here we go. Danda trying to get forward. Out to Benenjami. Benenjami to Shankland. Back to Danda. Shankland's making the run. Um, we've just been, we've been poleaxed there, man. Jan Danda goes down. Doesn't get a free kick, doesn't get nothing. And now again, it's St. Johnston getting forward. Craig Halkett uh, may have to take one for the team there because he's not won the ball. And he will be getting sent off, but he did. I mean, he has prevented He's prevented that counter-attack there, so he's done something right. And off he goes. We're down now to 10 men. As we're desperate, hold on. Cameron's picked up an injury as well. Shot at goal. Sander Clark will take that. No problem. Danda now. The only man up for Hearts, ball thrown out towards Fargas in a wide area. Fargas to Benenjami, Benenjami. Going to play it back to Fargas. Fargas over the top towards Shankland. And Shankland, he wasn't going to get to that, but the keeper came out, had it covered either way. Here we go, it's through to Shankland. It's a great ball, and now can Shankland run? Shankland, he's got to go. He's, oh, and he's just ran into trouble there. Has to hold that up, try and get, try and get Hearts players with him. St. Johnston clear it forward. Ball now through, and Kent's going to come over, can Kent get to that? Oh, we've not made the tackle, I tell you what, this is dangerous, and we've just about, we've just about kept that out. It is now Devlin, who's running, Dev, oh, Devlin's still going, plays it to Jan Danda, who holds on to the ball. Danda, out towards, it's a chat, oh come on, surely, we just see it out now, Shankland. Lauren Shankland's done alright there, he's held on to it. And Shankland's going to go himself here, Lauren Shankland. Picks out Benenjami, edge of the box to make it two. We can't make it two, but we will win the game regardless. It is finished. Hearts won with 10 men. St. Johnston nil with 11 men. That was tight. We had to hold on. We had to see it out. In the end, we did. It was a good game, a competitive game. Could have went either way. But we got the win. We got back to winning ways, and that's exactly what we needed. Unfortunately, again, Celtic win. You know, they, they just don't seem to know how to drop points, and it is really frustrating. Up next, we have St. Mirren. Believe it or not, though, it's not in the league. It's in the Europa Conference League, which I didn't think we'd be saying, but 
let's have a look and see how things are going in the league then. How did that last win go for us? Well, we can see here that it's actually moved us back up into third place. Rangers, or have Rangers, no, Rangers are still to play. So I almost got excited there. <laughs> almost got excited. Uh, let's see who Rangers, how did Rangers get on them? We'll, then, then we'll see. Uh, I'm going to assume that maybe we'll celebrate it too. So, yeah, we have. Okay. Got egg on our face now. So Rangers have went and played. Uh, they defeated Dunn. They defeated Ross County by two goals to nil. St Mirren got beat off Aberdeen. So we closed the gap to St Mirren down to one point. Rangers remain two points in front of us. And we're still 13 points behind Celtic. Like, it's, very it's very close for second, third, fourth. We're going to keep on going. Can we catch Celtic? I don't know. It's a big gap. We'll, we'll try though. We won't give up. We'll, we'll keep on going. And uh, hopefully you guys will keep on watching as we try and close down the league leaders. But we've got an important win there. Now we need to build on that. And hopefully we can you know, get a couple more league wins in a row. As we head into de December, we're taking on Aberdeen at Pataudry. Then St Mirren in the league. Then Hibernian in the Edinburgh Derby. Then Rangers away. Then Dundee United. And then I think it's Celt then Celtic. Wow, some of those games are massive, man. We need to win every game in December. Cross our fingers, win every game in December, and then look at the league table, and hopefully, hopefully, we'll be at, we'll be in a decent place. Anyway, guys, that's it. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and subscribe. And thanks for watching the FC Twenty Five Hearts Cream Mode. I'll catch you in the next one, and until then, peace.